honest. Be honest. You guys are not seen. You're not seen the way you want to be seen. And you're not being heard the way you want to be heard. You're getting rocked all over. Because you listened. Everybody made you more passive. They took away your voice. You gave it away. You gave your voice away, bitch. Why? Why did you do that? Because you guys all had to check in. You guys all had to check into a motherfucker. Your first job, you had to act the way they wanted you to act. One of the first quotes that ever resonated with me was distrust any enterprise that required new clothes. Henry David Thoreau. As I was wearing prison blues, they make you act a certain way and they break you a certain way, but they can't take away your voice. They can't take away your vision. And when I walk in a place, I tell myself the narrative. Now, you guys, I feel it in you. I see it written across your foreheads like a fucking teleprompter. All your fears, everything that you don't want people to know, you're saying with your body language and some underlying validation, some disgusting bitch energy that you fucking possess because you took your voice away. I sit there and live my life as a fucking music video, a movie trailer. I'm the main character. I'm sitting there writing it in such a fucking magnificent way. Why? Because I had to walk in those prison yards. I had to walk in those chow halls and walk on those prison yards. You can't have that there. You guys fucking have that shit out here that is disgusting and will get you sharked on in there. They'll watch you walk in the block and be like, look at this bitch. Look how scared he is. I guarantee he's going to run to the phone. Then you run over the phone. You're all quiet. Babe, oh, oh, fuck, peeing on yourself. That was me at the start. Everybody's that way at the start until you stand back and you take the initiative to say, this is disgusting. What am I afraid of? Why am I why am I creating an avatar on the other side of this camera that hates me, that doesn't agree with me? It's because you don't accept yourself. You'll never be in good standing with yourself until you learn that you have to quit self-sabotaging. How the fuck could you ever be yourself if you self-sabotage? Everyone's telling you, yeah, just be yourself. You don't even know yourself. Everything you're being called to be, you're not being. So how the fuck are you going to have solid answers like your motherfucking boy? How? How? Everything I'm being called to be, I'm being. You don't have negative self-talk, bitch. That's the most truthful voice you ever hear. That's your facts. That's not negative self-talk, pussy. You're not going to be able to fake that shit. That's an accurate depiction of how you're acting, motherfucker. When I used to walk in them chow halls. And I see motherfuckers like big trips from Lompoc and he's got fuck you blasted on his forehead. Or I see all the homies from Southeast Dago and they all got horns and a big old fucking NC on their face and other fucking shit. When you, when you roll up in these spots of these people who are not shook by you, they're conditioned to not fear shit. They're not making up scenarios that break themselves down. They've just accepted how fucking dirty life can get. And the fact is, I don't trust a man without a dark side. But I see your dark side. And you're dark against yourself. You're shitting on yourself. When I walk in that nice place, and I got my dirty chucks on, my fucking normal ass clothes, they see me in an their eyes, I'm creating a positive narrative about me. Oh, that must be some famous ass motherfucker. That dude just carries himself different. Damn, who is that? Why are you shitting on yourself? Your boy Wes, he wants you to shine. He needs you to have your self-talk and your accent, actions congruent with the confident man you need to be. Not the passive bitch society made you as. Hey, report over here, bitch. Subdue your voice, bitch. Hey, take that, bitch. This is what they've been doing to you forever. 
They've been just fucking pacifying you, just fucking taking away all your strength. You motherfuckers, I read that shit. It's so rare that I'm in public. And I'm like, there's a confident man walking. There he is. There's one. Why? Because the way you carry yourself all day. You're not in good standing with self because you're not in good company alone. When you're alone, you're a victim of these thoughts and these negative narratives that are destroying you. Why? Because your actions aren't congruent with your conscience. If you were building what your conscience is calling you to build, you'd be like, man, I've been up fucking since. I've been up since four, whatever the fuck early time you need to get up at. I fucking chop my body up. I feel great. I haven't missed a meal. Every small thing that's under your control, I fucking smash that book, learn that new shit. I got something valuable to bring you guys. I walk in the room and I'm like, here I am, motherfucker. Here I am. The hardest rooms, the biggest rooms. I walk in and know my value. I need you guys to be this way or else you're forever going to be that hater bitch who fucking is just so insecure when someone walks in that way. And then you're gonna miss every opportunity because that guy who walks in like that, that's the motherfucker you need to know because he's assertive and he'll take his spot. Men are assertive, violent by design, courteous by choice. You guys are just pat, you guys are just forced into being courteous. You don't even really wanna be. So it makes you passive aggressive. You don't even wanna be that. I can be violent as fuck. I'm a killer. I'm a shark, motherfucker. I go in any room and nobody's taking my power. Nobody. And guess what? I just want to be courteous. But I can fucking take your life straight up. That's the difference. You're a granola eating cupcake fucking motherfucking Birkenstock princess fuck who thinks being courteous is a choice for him. That's the only fucking choice you got, bitch. You ain't nothing else on the other side. You have to be both sides. You have to fucking create habits on the other side of your weakness. And if your weakness is standing on your strengths, that you're so peaceful and you're such a good dish and that, you need to create that viciousness. That doesn't mean go assault people. That doesn't mean go be a fucking dick. That means realizing that conflict avoided is conflict multiplied. So in your life, if you're not living the truth and telling the truth, you're creating bigger problems, motherfucker. Imagine if you told your fat dad when he was 240 that he was getting overweight and it's serious and you're not taking it, you're not standing for it. You didn't avoid that conflict that he was causing himself. Then he wouldn't be 320, motherfucker. You guys are fucking enabling everybody's weaknesses because... You don't realize love ain't lies. You just feel like it's wrong. <laughs> just too weak to face them. Face them. Conflict avoided is conflict multiplied. Realize that you have to stand up and live the truth so that you can speak the truth. Everybody wants to speak this way. All you motherfuckers do. You just can't because you don't live this way. So start living this way and then watch how your self-talk aligns with your actions. When you live that way and you live true and you live pure and you live hard, you'll walk in that pay place. You'll walk in that establishment. You'll walk in that room. You'll take that room. You'll take that stage strong, confident, valuable because you know who the fuck you are from your actions. I love you guys. It's only alignment. Keeping your self-talk aligned with your actions during times of adversity this is how you build your core beliefs. If you've never stuck to anything for a duration of time, you will have no core beliefs, have no answers. You won't know who the fuck you are. Be a carbon copy. People with no confidence copy. Confident people create. Let's fucking go.